past eight. Good to be in your company. Now, as you can see, I'm surrounded by silverware and the man of the moment, Kaiser Chiefs defender and captain Tefu Mashmaita. He took top honours at the Premier Soccer League uh, Awards. He achieved Footballer of the Year, Players Player of the Year and Defender of the Season. You join us now in studio. It was a very early morning considering it was quite a late night. Welcome to Morning Live. Oh, morning and thank you for welcoming me. Congratulations. I mean, you've had just the most outstanding season playing all 30 league matches. And you, as well as Tower and the defence of Kaiser Chiefs, made sure that you guys only conceded 14 goals. How did you do it? Uh, a great season. And uh, I think it was just down to a great structure that uh, Coach Baxter put out. You know, when he first joined us, um, we really worked hard uh, this season. Uh, coming back from last year's disappointment. Uh, we reflected on our mistakes from last season and I think this year the, the boys, they really gave it, gave it their best. Just tell us what happened this season because many people were saying following that uh, December break that it may happen again, that Mamelodi Sundowns just have to carry on winning games, just carry on picking up points because Keza Chiefs will trip trip up you guys looked a little bit shaky one two games but you managed actually to pull it and hold it together when i had baxter here the other day he said that the, that was a crucial time for you what was going on for the players what was going on in the dressing room obviously you no know, the mindset in the country was um last year sundowns came in the last minutes and they pipped us and you know they won the title and they thought this season was going to be the same but you know for us we had took too many, you know, pains from what happened last year and we were not going to, you know, just let it happen easily. We, we fought our way, you know, we lost against Supersport when we came through uh, in January and uh, we lost to Maris back and people were starting to write us off and yeah. we just gathered ourselves and say, we're just going to exclude everything else, you know, the negatives and all the things that people are saying outside and just focus on what's on the field. And we did that and, you know, we, we're proud to have, you know, overcame the challenges. There was a beautiful overhead shot of all of the trophies that have been brought in today. So this middle one is for Footballer, Football of yeah, the Year. Yeah. This one is for? Uh, players Player of the Season and uh, this Defender of the Season. And then, of course, you're wearing around your neck the yeah. league title yeah. Uh, yeah. gold medal. Which one means the most to you? Um, all of them means a lot to me. Firstly, with uh, Defender of the Season, you know, um, being chosen as the best in your position, I think, you know, um, carries a certain value. Footballer of the season, um, this is the category that was voted in by the coaches. And, you know, if, if you get a nod uh, from coaches to say you have been outstanding in this season, you know, it's, it's another type of value. And the player's player, you get voted by your peers, you know, um, yeah. the players that you compete with. And, you know, for them to just, you know, give you the props and say you've been doing well, you know, it, it goes a long way into, you know, validating you as, as one of the best, you know, in, in the season. Were you expecting to win all of these awards? Um, this, was, this was the one that I was expecting, you know. Everything else is just an icing on the cake. I mean, why, why is it so important to, like, be sitting in the position that, that you have? Because you've really come out this season, maybe when some people weren't backing you. And I know that you've said in the media that it was thanks to Baxter putting his faith behind you that helped you to kind of grow in confidence. Uh, we, we're living in a... In the world where you know opinions you know uh, go in different directions and i think you always have to sift out the positives you know focus on those people who believe in you um i work with baxter i work with the boys every day they know what i'm capable of and i think if i just focus on what they're telling me on the positives getting feedback from them um i try to close off everything you know the negatives and i just focus on what i do the Yamakosi fans are asking, will you be part of their team next season? Uh, right now, I think I'm here to celebrate this accolade. And I think the Kosi Nation should be celebrating this accolade uh, and the league and all, all that we have achieved this season. Uh, let's just live in the here and now and let uh, the future take care of itself. What are your aspirations? 30 years old, your central defender, uh, your just award-winning, cleaned up at the, you know, the the league or the season ending awards. What, what's your personal goals now for the next two, three years? Uh, well, I, I was reading Phil Jackson's book, uh, 11 Rings, the other day. And what he said is when you achieve something great, um, you always have to you know, condition yourself to go back, chop wood, 
draw water. So I'm, I'm going to go back and, you know, just keep on working. I'm not going to put too many expectations on my shoulders because it's just going to be detrimental. So for me, it's just down to enjoying football, making sure that I do the, the little things and everything will take care of itself. With KZ Chiefs? Anyone else. Um, KZ Chiefs, we're still negotiating right now. And uh, we're waiting on, you know, the negotiations to, to come through. And uh, I would like to continue playing football. All right. Let's, let's chat a little bit about, um, I mean, it, 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 was, it was a fantastic season and, and your work ethic has, has been great. How, how have you been able to maintain that? We mentioned 30, 30 league starts. I mean, you played so many minutes of football this season. It's kind of, you know, not something that we often get to see. How do you manage to stay in shape? I think it can be down to a couple of factors. You know, maybe it's my parents' genes, you know, making sure that I don't get injured easily. Uh, discipline, uh, avoiding, you know, giving away fouls and getting into uh, referees' books um, and costing my team. You know, it's just down to the kind of, you know, structure, like I said before, the foundation that the coach has, has put before us and understanding it and just, you know, immersing myself in it and enjoying every moment. Um, there were times when I felt like uh, I'm carrying a little bit of an injury and maybe I should be out, but I just kept on pushing because the competition is too tight. You know, if you relax, somebody's going to come and take your position and you might never be able to recover it. And you seem to have been enjoying that captaincy armband quite a bit. Yeah, um, Idu got injured um, around about September, I think, just before the MTN8 final. Uh, I got the armband, you know, the management and the coach decided that since I was a captain at VET and won the net bank, uh, it's only right that I, I take over the armband and I never looked back and I've been enjoying this because I'm surrounded by, by great leaders and sometimes, you know, I become a follower as a leader. Who are some of the leaders that have inspired you? Um, in the Kaiser Chiefs camp? Yeah, or, or even outside. Um, I, I read a lot um, from politics to spirituality. Um, we play with players like Yeye, Shaba, Tepo Masilela. You know, I can just count a whole lot of players and they are leaders in their own right. And if you can take a leaf out of their book, I think it goes a long way into building you who you are. What was probably the most valuable nugget of wisdom that you took from maybe one of those players or leaders that you look up to that helped you to captain Kaiser Chiefs this season? Obviously with the AA, his consistency, he's been in this game, you know, forever. And people have said, no, he's gone past 30. Uh, I think he's 34 now, if I'm not mistaken. He's still going strong. He went to the Nations Cup. He's still going strong. He's still hungry. He comes to training. He's competitive. So it's one of the things that you know you, 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 you learn out of. And um, Tepo went overseas, came back. He's still hungry. You know, helped us to win the league. You know, with Shaba, a lot was said about him that he has lost his form. And, you know, he came through and he got us some important goals in the, in the league this season. Uh, what was what was the the kind of response that you got from from you two? Um, you know, taking over the captaincy on band. He was also going through a quite a rough time himself. You know, having to sit out, having to get through injury. Not an easy place for a footballer to be. Uh, what what kind of advice and, and what did he share with you about you know wearing this very important armband? Oh, uh, we we've got a, a mutual respect, me and Itu. Um, even before I wore the armband, you know, he always used to look at me as a captain. And I've respected him as a captain. We've worked together. We work closer to each other on the field. And I think we count on each other a lot, you know, in, in situations where the team is putting us under a lot of pressure. We communicate well. So um, I know he was begging me to, you know, to win a couple of awards. And um, I'm happy. And I hope, you know, um, the future will be brighter for him. What... Uh, uh while, while we were busy discussing just before this, we saw a picture of uh, the team actually lifting the trophy. How good was that, was that feeling at Nelson Mandela Bay Stadium? Uh, it's a validating moment. It's the, the stuff that, you know, dreams are made of. You know, when you, you are an 18-year-old and you watch TV and you see uh, <clears throat> clubs winning championships, you know, you aspire for that. But 
uh, in order for that to happen, like there's a whole lot of things that have to happen behind the scenes. You have to sacrifice a bit of yourself in, in order to get to the mountain peak. And, you know, just to get there, you know, it, it takes a lot. And, you know, to get there is, is a very rewarding moment. And it, it deserves, you know, a celebration, which is what we did at uh, Nelson Mandela Bay. Let's speak about Bufana Bufana, your aspirations uh, with the team. Uh, well, I'm 30 right now, so um, I'm not putting, you know, too much energy. But if there's a role for me to play in, in terms of guiding the youngsters, I'll, I'll be happy to relish that opportunity. What, what I mean, do you, do you hope to still be a part of the Bufana Bufana setup? Would you like to still represent South Africa? No, why not? I mean, um, I think modern day warfare is... is uh, fought on the on the field of play and you know to to be a soldier for your country it should you know goes without really asking and you know to to be recognized and 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 to be called up by by the national team coach will be an honor for me i'll still be happy to go and represent my country all right lovely stuff well we, thank you very much for coming uh into studio uh it's been wonderful to have you here and congratulations on a brilliant brilliant season have you heard from your mom who was the first person that actually phoned and said congratulations um uh, well after the hours there was a whole lot of messages that came through uh but i had to go do the interviews and uh, the shoots and whatnot but uh, my mother was at home she actually came for a visit um, on, I think on Friday, you know, okay. um, her intention was to come through to the awards, but we couldn't get a, um, a ticket, but she, she watched, uh, uh, on TV at home. And, um, after the, the ceremony, I went home and, um, I, we, I just went home and, you know, had a, a reflection with her and we had a chat oh, and, uh, man. yeah, she was very happy and proud. Oh man, I'm sure she must have been so, so proud of you. Well, congratulations. Thanks a lot. And I hope, I hope they're going to put aside a ticket for, uh, next year for, for your mom to make sure that she's there. Because, no, yeah, for sure. <laughs> because parents need to see their children being rewarded the way that you were. Tefo Mashmita, thank you very much for coming into thanks. the Morning Live Studio and congratulations. Thanks a lot. All right, that's Footballer of the Year, Players Player of the Year, as well as a Defender of the Year, capturing all of these awards at the 2014-2015 APSA Premiership Awards Ceremony, which took place at the Sansa Convention Centre last night.